Yo, what up? It's Mixed by Malachi. Today, I want to talk about a super dope plugin that's inspired by the 1960 610 console. And this plugin is called T Console by Sana Misadio. So, if you're looking for that console saturation and nice color into your music, to me, this is probably one of the best emulations you're going to get out of a plugin. So, without further ado, let's get it. So, I do have the actual channel module up. And as you can see, man, the theme of it itself, it emulates the 610 console itself. Everything is where you're going to add your saturation here is the actual warm, the hot and stuff like that. And then you can see you got your high cut and your low cut filter as well for each channel and each unit that you're using. We're gonna go here and then you got your extra settings here as well. So just make sure you show uh, control values so you can actually see the Hertz that you're cutting. And then you got your master grouping, which we're gonna be using this on the actual two bus itself. And then you got UI scales to where you can scale the actual plugin up and down if need be. If it's too small, you can make it big. And then the dope part about this plugin is being able to oversample. Oversampling up to X16, which is pretty dope itself. But I usually use eight or four, I don't go no higher. And then you have the actual saturation buttons right here. But before you do anything, lay T console straight across your mixer. And then from here, you wanna uh, put it on your master bus as well. So now that you have everything laid across your mixer, you have it on your uh, two bus as well. As you can see, I have the two bus uh, <clears throat> module up itself right now. And then from here, we can just click master grouping and then that'll lay out the actual board for us. And then you can see we got global saturation. You have global saturation where you can activate it, deactivate it, um, bypass the plugin itself, bring the plugin back. But I'm gonna turn the uh, global saturation off because that is what we're gonna be using today is the global saturation to add the analog warmth to it. And then also from there, you know, with the push, you can actually, you know, you got warm and then you got aggression. To me, hot is aggression to where you really wanna push it. And then you have your settings right here to where you can do trim as drive. From here, you can mix it with dry as wet if need be. And then you have your uh, meter pre. I don't use meter pre. I don't use filter pre. So, I mean, you can, you, I mean, if you want to, you can. And then this is the actual uh, saturation for the total console itself. So you activate this, this is gonna add saturation to everything. So there, like I said, if you wanna add aggression, you can add aggression, you can add it here, and then you can actually add it to the global saturation as well. So let's get into it. Now, with the channels that's on your, uh, with, with the module that's on your channels, what you wanna do with these is, you can actually use this for gain station. As you can see, the VU meter is actually different on this one as well. It has that kind of spade outlook right here with the uh, needle. And then in here, you can set your VU calibration. You know, you can go from anywhere from 26 to 14, which I just use the regular negative 18, which is fine for me. So, and then from there, we're gonna get into uh, gain stage and the actual track. So I'm gonna run through it. You guys already, you know, we, we did a tutorial on this before with the T console, but I'm gonna run through it. We're gonna actually do some gain staging. So let's start off with the kick. So I normally don't I normally don't add saturation here because for one, I'm actually gain staging the track. So I, I'm able to use the global saturation to add as much as I need to get that console sound. That's one thing about being in a box mixer, is like they're giving us tools to actually emulate things from the 60s, the 70s. And then like I said, once you go here and you have show control values. You can see from here that you can use the low cut to cut if you need to, you know, cut in the lows. But with the uh, kick and the 808, I don't cut into the lows. With the 808, I do use the, uh, I use the high cut filter for the 808 just to clean some of the 808 off. But let's finish with the kick. Okay, that's fine right there. We're going to move to the 808 now. Same thing with the 808. And then with the 808, like I said, I do use the high cut to roll off there. And if I want to make it warm, I can make it warm. So I will go through each channel and just make it warm for the uh, uh, sake of this tutorial.
Okay. So we're going to move on to the next one, which is the clap, I believe. And as you can see, I like mine to be around negative 12. I like it to be around negative 12. Let's take the warm off for right now until we get to the actual global saturation. Okay, so from there, we're gonna go to the hi-hat now. So we just gained staged everything. So now what I want to do is, so pretty much I'm teaching you guys how to use this plugin as well, mix at the same time. So the next thing I want to do is, I want to start leveling my track now because I'm going to start adding things up under there. But before we do that, let's go here and actually activate, activate the global saturation. <music> Okay, so we, we really ain't got too much, but that's what we're going to get to. And that's how we're going to achieve that console mix is by what I'm showing you right now. So what I want to do now is I want to add the plugins that I'm going to add to my kick, my 808 and stuff like that. So with the kick, I am going to add a, let's mute everything. I'm going to add, uh, let's go with, uh, what is it? TR5, I believe. Classic Clipper. Let's go with this. Let's turn that slope down a little bit. I'm going to open up the actual uh, <clears throat> master console. I'm going to look at the meter from here. And as I'm looking at this meter, I am going to bring down my kick. Okay. Now, you guys may be wondering why am I bringing down so many levels and why I'm doing this in game staging because 
when we get to the global saturation, we're going to activate everything. And then from there, we're going to use the mixer to actually add the drive of the saturation to get that good coloration. So let's do this. Okay, let me bring this down. Let's do the 808 now. I'm going to add bass as XXL. Let's bring some of them harmonics in. And then I'm gonna cut on oversampling. That's fine. So now I'm gonna bring the 808 down and match it with the kick. Let's look where we at with the meter. See, we tend to think when things are louder, it sounds better. But me, I like to mix low and then I like to bring it up because I've actually given myself enough headroom to, <clears throat> to use the drive, excuse me, to use the drive of the console. So let's keep doing it. We're going to do the same thing all the way down. Now, another dope thing about this console, so let's say, for instance, I want to add a reverb to my clap. I'm going to, I'm going to add a, I'm going to add an FX for the reverb. Let's name this uh, reverb clap. Let's name it that. And then what I want to do is I want to add T console here. T dash. We're going to add it here my reverb clap and then from here i'm gonna let the i'm gonna activate the uh saturation on here and i'm gonna turn this to warm and then i'm going to get this clap going let's add a uh, valhalla let me put a cut on here to about 500 okay bring the decay down a little bit let's bring the clap down And remember, when you're adding reverb to your instruments, you don't want to add too much for the simple fact that you don't want to muddy out your mix with the vocals and the reverb. That's good right there. Now we're going to go to the hi-hat now. Let's bring the highs out on a clap. And we already uh, took some of the low cut off with the actual uh, console itself. So now we are at the open hats. Let's add some reverb to those high hats as well. Same thing here, same frequency. I believe we roll some of this. We roll some low cut off of this already, right? Let's do a little more. So right now we just balance on our we balance on our instruments to get ready for the global saturation of using T console to get that 1960 emulation. And then we did a low cut with the piano as well. Okay, next 
next instrument. Which is the guitar. So see I like guitar on here. We're just mixing our guitars and to the meat and potatoes of the electric guitar now. Okay, so let's just say I got everything down right now the way I want it to sound. So now I'm ready to add console saturation to my mix. So what I'm gonna do is most of these will be grouped. So, and how we do that is we're gonna go here to the master bus grouping, and then we're gonna go, we're gonna go here. And then from here, I wanna name what I'm gonna be grouping. So this will be my kick. This will be my 808. Okay, this will be my hi-hat and open, open hat um, plus, let's see, hi-hat, open hat, we'll do those together, and maybe, yeah, maybe the vocals, are, no, the vocals is going, we don't really need to do the vocals. Um, okay, so let's do, let's, let's do the vocal here. So we're just setting it up to get ready to group and make things a little bit easier when you're, uh, you know, you're naming it. So then from there, we got the piano. And then we have the guitar. Guitar. And then we have the uh, strings. Let's just say strings. Okay. So from here. So now that we have a name from here, we want to definitely go to the console. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these down. And then you can see that when it is being grouped, that it will also bring the volume down as well, but not completely. So this is where I'm getting ready to add my saturation to this mix. So let's go here. We're going to start off with the kick. So now, once you load up the module, you'll see where it says ungroup. You want to group this. So now that you have everything named, you'll see what need to be grouped. So you know that this is the kick. We'll hit this with the kick. Right 
wait. Uh, forgot to clap. <laughs> So let's do, uh, hold on. So we got the 808. I got to fix this, y'all. My bad, y'all. 808, clap. And then we can do the hi-hat. Let's just do hi-hat. We know open is going to go there. I even spelled piano wrong. Okay. And then, wait, after the hi-hat, we have the vocal. Let's just say vocal, okay? Let's just name this one vocal. Uh-oh, vocal. Okay, and then let's name the uh, piano here. I believe this is the piano now. And then we have the guitar. There we go. And then we have the strings for eight. Okay, cool. All right, so let's continue to do what we were doing. And then you'll see as I'm activating it into the group, you'll see that the actual sound leave so i think we're on a clap now right so remember the hi-hat and open hat is going to go in the same group okay and then we got the vocal which this is going to be vocal and then we have the piano. I believe this is the piano. The piano. And I think it is. Hold on. Man, why am I skipping instruments? So I can put this with the guitar then. So let's just put this with the guitar. Let's put that with the guitar. So let's move this over to where the guitar is. Let's name this uh, Nylon. Okay. So we are at, let's name this piano. Okay. Dude, I just messed up again. Wow. So this is the piano. <laughs> piano. And then this will be the nylon. So let's move the nylon over here with the guitar. Let's move the piano over here. All right. Now let's go to piano. Label this one piano. Let's go to the guitar, label this guitar. Nylon is gonna be labeled guitar as well. Okay, and then we have the strings, which is gonna be labeled strings. Now, once I play it back, you can see the volume get real low. So we have no volume. So all the volumes on the grouping is down from the kick 808 down to the strings. So from here is where I'm gonna activate the global saturation, boom. And if we wanna activate the fat we can here, we can act activate the saturation here as well. So from here, I'm gonna start pushing up the, uh, the uh, channels. So let's activate the warmness also. So then we have the option to change with the actual vintage crosstalk. We can do uh, vintage or we can do modern or we can do no crosstalk at all. So we'll go through all three of them.
turn let's turn the saturation off and on and see if we can get a difference, which we will. This is with everything off. Let me side chain my 808 real quick. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up a WLSM meter, WLM meter so that I know where my track is sitting right now. So I do want it to be around negative 12 when I'm adding any other plug in far as, you know, adding some more saturation or pushing it. So I'm gonna put this to negative 12, take this to zero and we're gonna turn that all the way off. <laughs> definitely hear the difference so I'm gonna do bypass and you guys listen for yourself super dope plug-in man like you want that console saturation and you want to add that color to it definitely pick this plug-in up the plug-in is on sale so you can't beat that check it out pick it up as you can see the results you see what it does and you know what it can do it's a great emulation of a console man it's your boy nbm i hope you learned something man i appreciate you guys for tapping in much love and take care